Hello and thank you for watching the second lesson of chapter 11, which is 11.2 IPv6 neighbor discovery. Now on the previous lesson, 11.1 address resolution protocol, we found that in IPv4 we use ARP to resolve IPv4 addresses to MAC addresses or to resolve layer 3 address to layer 2 address. In this lesson we're going to learn how IPv6 does that process. Well, IPv6 does use uh, ICMP v6 messages or Internet Control Message Protocol version 6. And th there is five messages, five ICMP v6 messages. We have a neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement message. These are used for IPv6 address resolution from IPv6 layer 3 to MAC address layer 2 address resolution, like IPv4 ARP, and as, as well as duplicate address detection. What happens here is the IPv6 devices, they check that their address is not duplicate. So they run duplicate address detection through neighbor solicitation. If somebody else answers, then with the neighbor advertisement, they say, okay, that's not unique. So I, I, can't, I can't use that. I have to set another one. But IPv6 uses neighbor discovery protocol. So with neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement to map IPv6 addresses to MAC addresses. Also, ICMPv6 messages, we have a router solicitation and router advertisement. Now, router solicitation messages are sent by a device who doesn't have an IP address, for example, and is asking the router, send me the router advertisement, which will be sent on response to the router solicitation, as well as every 200 seconds, which will be the dynamic allocation of IPv6 addresses. As well as ICMPv6, the fifth message is redirect which will be sent by the routers for better next hop selection. Okay, so IPv6 neighbor discovery, address resolution, same as in IPv4, we need to map layer three address to layer two. So we need to map IPv6 address to MAC address. So for example, if device has the IP address for some way, either through manual or through dynamically through DNS, it needs a MAC address. So it doesn't know the MAC address, but it knows the IP address, IPv6 address. Then it's going to send the neighbor solicitation message to that device and that device is going to do the neighbor advertisement. So then with the MAC address. It's, there is no op, there is no broadcast in IPv6. So same for um, remote device. If the PCA, for example, is trying to access PCC and it knows the IP address, but it doesn't ask for this MAC address, it asks for the MAC address of the local gateway of router 1. Now, Router solicitation and router advertisement. Now, router solicitation is when you have a device who doesn't have an IP address. You can see the source is just double column. That seems that seems that says uh, unspecified address. And this router solicitation will be sent to multicast address dates for the routers to the address FF02 colon colon two which says, please send me the router advertisement message. Like we said, the router advertisement message will be sent every 200 seconds or in response to router solicitation. In the router advertisement, we see that the source is the link local, the address of the router, and the destination is all nodes multicast address, which is FF02 colon colon one. Now this address, all the devices, all IPv6 devices, including the routers will be member of this group. The routers will be member of this group as well as this. The end devices will only be member of this group, FF02 colon colon one. In the router advertisement message, which we talked about in the previous chapter, in chapter 10, so if you want to know in more detail about these two messages, then <laughs> visit that chapter. In the router advertisement, we see a network prefix and the prefix length, as well as the default gateway, which is itself, a DNS address and domain name. We're going to see the flags, which we talked about, the manage and other flag. So depending on what flag is, the router tells the PC how to configure with IPv6 address. For example, if the manage flag is zero and other flag is zero, so if they're both set to zero, the router is saying to the PC, well, configure your own IPv6 address. Use this prefix and this prefix length and configure it. If the manage flag is zero and other flag is set to one, then it's still Slack, so configure your self IP address, but with DHCP server for other stuff, right? So we ask the DHCP server for like DNS, the main name, and so on. If the managed flag is set to one, then it says everything is through DHCP v6, DHCP v6 server. So everything has to be configured through DHCP v6.
And this is the topology that will be demonstrating router solicitation and router advertising messages for you. Well, router solicitation messages we're not going to see because router solicitation messages they only happen if the device doesn't have an IP address. So if it's unspecified address, then it sends a router solicitation message. But because they have an IP address, our devices do have a static IP address, we're not going to see router solicitation. We might see a router advertisement message because they do get sent every 200 seconds. So if we, we could see it. We're definitely going to see a lot of neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement messages. And you can see that all the devices are configured with IP addresses. We have a prefix, a root prefix here with a subnet ID A for all devices on this LAN. And you can see the interface ID is unique, so 1A B on this side. And on this side, the same prefix or root prefix with subnet ID B and the I interface ID 1. So subnet ID is same and interface ID C on this side. So they're all configured, the configuration. If you want to find out how to configure, then visit on chapter 6. We show you how to configure these devices. Okay, so I've got the connection to my router. This is router 1. And as you can see, for example, that's the link local address of router 1. Um, then we can see the global unicast address that we see here. And I have a connection to my PC. So I have a connection to PCA, B, and C. So if I go to PCA, and you know, I'll just run the Wireshark, and um, I'm going to start capturing on the interface, on the single interface. So start that. And we're going to see some messages coming up. And what we are interested on is only the ICMP messages. Yeah. So let me see if, if we have a connection here. Yes, we have a IPv6 enabled, so we can should see some IC, uh, ICMPv6 messages. And here they come. They are coming. Neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement. Um, we might see a router solicitation, if we are lucky. Or we might have to stay here for three minutes, and we, then we get to see it. Anyway, neighbor solicitation. We can see the neighbor solicitation is coming from the router, FE80, corner corner one and it's going to this local link local address. And then we have a neighbor advertisement. We can see the neighbor advertisement. And let me just uh, filter with just ICMPv6 messages. So filter that and apply that. Because I don't want to see the DSCPv6 messages and others. Um, yes, we can see the neighbor solicitation is coming from router. And then we can see the reply. Right? So in that, we resolve in IPv6 layer 3 address to layer 2 address. Um, we're not seeing any any router advertisement message, so we're not lucky into see it there. Okay, here we see a router advertisement, just arrived one, and uh, we can see that it's coming from from the router FE80 colon colon one link local address to the router, and it's going to all nodes, all nodes multicast address FF02 colon colon one. I'll, let me stop this um, Wireshark now, and we can see here. It's going to all nodes FF02 colon colon one, and if I expand that ICMP message, I can see the flags. For example, we we talked about the managed flag and the other flag. So we can see that both they are zero, which means that the router is telling the nodes you need to configure your own IPv6 address. Here is a prefix length and the prefix. So prefix length and the prefix. So you need to use this prefix and this prefix length and create your own IPv6 address. So interface ID either through EUI, extended unique identifier, or through uh, just randomly generated. But for us, it's not going to make sense, make a difference because all our devices are configured with a static. Anyway, we looked at, we saw the messages, neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement, and router advertisement messages. Thank you for watching lesson 11.2, IPv6 neighbor discovery. This is of chapter 11, ICMP and address resolution. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.